Good morning, people. How are we doing? It is a sun day. Uh, that was a pun on the fact it's sunny and it's Sunday. Welcome to my jokes when I'm tired. So today we're going to do a little challenge video that I'm going to explain in a second as I need to look up how to do it and what goes into it. But later on, Lizzie and I are going to go to the pub uh, for a roast, but also it clashes with their pub quiz. So we're going to do the pub quiz as well. So it's a whole day of fun on a Sunday. A fun day. Nope, still doesn't work. When I was in Sainsbury's yesterday, I realised that they brought out chilli jam from Nando's. And that means that you can make a full Nando's homemade chicken medium wrap. Uh, which is my favourite thing from Nando's. So what I'm going to do is go to Sainsbury's, buy all of the stuff that you would normally find in the chicken wrap, try and make it myself, and then I'm going to buy one from Nando's and see how they compare. So I'm going to try and make a full homemade Nando's with the chips and everything, and then compare it to a delivery from Nando's. Which I think is quite a cool series, because I think I could then branch out and do like McDonald's, or I could do KFC or something, and I think it could work really well as a series. I'm just trying to work out how it equates on TikTok as well. I'm not quite sure yet. I've just been online, and it says that you can buy a Peri Peri wrap kit with everything you need in it, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to do this all individually, and I'm not going to use anything like that, because that is cheating. I'm going to buy all of the products individually. I'm going to make it without Nando's help because there is instructions on their website about how you make it. I'm going to do it blind. Uh, so I don't know how this is going to go at all. Um, the last few times I've ordered from Nando's takeaway has been quite rubbish. It's been quite flat, bit grim. Uh, the lettuce, because it's in like a container, the lettuce has gone like soggy. It's gross. Um, I still eat it though, of course I do. I'm just in Sainsbury's and they have so many Nando's products that I didn't even realise. Like this is brand new, the Coat and Cook from Nando's. This is probably, for people that aren't in the UK, you don't even know what Nando's is. It's like a Portuguese chicken shop where you can buy like a whole chickens but in different spices. So you can get like garlic, lemon and herb, medium hot, extra hot, extra 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 hot um, and you can go up in spices and there's different things like wing roulette where you get a whole like plate of wings and one of them will be like extra extra hot and the others will be like mild but Nando's then brought out their sauces and um, so I use the medium one in basically everything I use chicken based um, but they have just brought out my favorite part of Nando's which is the sweet chili jam which is amazing if you haven't already tried it go to your local Sainsbury's or supermarket and buy it because it's great without Nando's, so. Now I know it looks exactly the same, but if a kid was to pick up the wine, he wouldn't be able to play badminton. We're back doing another challenge video. We've got wraps. We've got Nando's bake in a bag. Some chicken. My favorite thing from Nando's. Sweet chili jam. Peronese. And a lettuce. Oh, and some sort of like rub that I bought as well. Never seen it before, but I think it could work. Hey, look at that. That just fell out of my pocket. It's a picture of me. This picture has been in my pocket for so long. Uh, the person that made this will know exactly where it came from. Basically, when we had our bite-sized talent dinner, there were all pictures of us uh, where we were supposed to sit, and I've had it in my pocket ever since. And it's gonna stay in there for long times. <laughs> Let's do the oven. Let's do the oven. What's that supposed to mean? I know I said... This is the first time I've had my Apple Watch on in ages. And it started talking to me in Sainsbury's. And I thought it was the person next to me. And so I was like... And then realised that it was clearly my Apple Watch Siri telling me that I had pressed the button. Chicken in the bag. Let's put the chicken in the bag. I feel like it's a little bit cheating putting it in this bag because it just has all of the sauce in, whereas this just is a rub. It's just a rub. Do you think in Hamlet when Shakespeare says, aye, there's the rub, do you think he's meaning Nando's Peri Peri rub? What spice would William Shakespeare be if he went to Nando's? 
I think he'd be like a lemon and herb, or he'd go daring and go like hot. I feel like this could become a musical. Nando's. Nando's. It serves chicken. No, I don't know any other lyrics. There isn't any lyrics, I was making that up on the spot. Funny thing about this challenge is the fact that when I bought all of this stuff, I expected it to be like way more than the uh, than the actual price of a Nando's. Uh, oh, I didn't buy chips. Damn it. But anyway, when I was buying all of this stuff, I thought it would be like triple the price of an actual Nando's wrap. It actually turns out it's cheaper, and I got loads more wraps, loads more sauce, and I probably got more chicken than what they would normally get. So, I count that as a win. I should probably at some point order an actual Nando's. It's in the oven, let's time it half an hour. Hey Siri, set a timer for half an hour. 30 minutes. Now. Technology is so clever. I burnt my chicken a little bit. That's all right then. I mean, look at this. I'm not being funny. It looks exactly the same. So this is an absolute winner. Look at this. That's my one. And this is Nando's. But the taste, mine wins by a million percent. Truly, it does. Come and test these. Tell me which one you think is better, truthfully. Oh, no. no, truthfully. Just try this one. Right. This is the Nando's one. Okay. Classic Nando's. It's good, it's good, but it's, yeah. And now I'll try this one. I'll put more flavour to it. See? I win! Yes! Come on! It's so much better, isn't it? Yeah, no, I want more now. We've just got to the pub. I had a quick nap, because um, so, I just needed it. I needed a 40 minute nap. Was it 40 minutes? About 40 minutes. Had a 40 minute nap. Um, but we are at the pub and we are waiting to do the quiz. I can't wait for this quiz. We're going to smash it. The jackpot is 100 pounds. Imagine what 100 pounds could do. <laughs> we are going to win it. We are going to win it. as you can tell has finished um, it did go on for quite a while it was still going at like half past ten um, the guy took ages marking them but he was great and the whole quiz was done really really well some really funny jokes in there and actually he got the whole audience to join in at points which was amazing um, but I am now in a Tesco and I just wanted some popcorn, but they don't sell popcorn anywhere anymore, which is so annoying. But I am going to go home and edit part of this vlog so that it comes out tomorrow rather than today. So I'm a bit tired and I just want to go to bed. We are back home in the fan favourite booth. The amount of DMs I've had on Instagram being like, can you please end the vlog in the booth? Because we really, really love it. So 
your wish is my command. We are back in the booth to end the vlog. Um, today's actually been so much fun. I didn't have anything planned except for the Nando's uh, challenge, I guess you would call it, um, which worked out so much better than I thought it would be. Um, especially the fact that the chicken wrap that I made was far superior to the actual Nando's, which was an absolute win for me because I expected it to taste terrible. And actually, I won. Um, there must have been a lot of factors, like the delivery must have made it a slightly colder. Um, it made the lettuce limp inside the wrap. There were a lot of factors that if I had done it in a Nando's, I think it would have been closer. But I was kind of shocked by the results. Um, and the pub quiz tonight was so much fun. And as I mentioned, coming ninth, I really didn't expect. Because there were a team behind us who were really good. And like, they, th well, they looked like they knew every question. Uh, and, and the answer to it. But they clearly didn't. They didn't because we came above them in ninth place, which I will take. Anything in the top 10, even if there's 10 teams, I will take. But uh, tomorrow, this to be honest, this week, other than going to see Ed Sheeran later in the week, I've got nothing on. So the world is my oyster. Um, I have a few things kind of rumoured planned, and that's about it. Um, but right this second, I've got nothing planned this week other than Ed Sheeran on Thursday and Friday. But I will see you guys on the next vlog, which will be tomorrow. Why did I even have to think about that? But thank you all for coming on these adventures, and I'll see you later.